and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Today we want to talk to you about Welcome to South Dakota. And this is the dream. Um, I have been to South Dakota twice before, once with our mom and then Mylena and I came. And both times that I've been here, uh, I thought if I only had a way to camp, I could stay here and actually enjoy the area because there's so much to do. And so that's what we're doing. And we're going to do this maybe a little bit differently than other people would, but there are several parts we want to enjoy. We knew we wanted to come and stay at the Badlands. And that's where we are right now. We are filming inside because there is a bit of a breeze, shall we say, like strong wind. And so, uh, but we are staying and we'll show you some pictures and video of yes. where we are. It's just pretty incredible and amazing. Uh, and while we, we got here yesterday and so far we have seen prairie dog, bison, and long bighorn sheep. And so um, this is pretty much an amazing area. But while we are, we're going to show you is you plan this trip strongly encourage you to go on and get some tourist information because they're going to be able to send you some maps and those maps are going to show you how much there is to do yes. in the area and this is just one part one stop we are stopping here and while we're here we are seeing the things we're going to do we're going to move to about four or five different headquarters yes. essentially and then go out and do our day trips from those areas rather than picking one point in the middle and making long yes. day trips out to various places. We want to go to the Visitor Center in the Badlands National Park. And we want to do the scenic drive around Badlands uh, National Park. And there's a really cool prairie village or town or... Uh, it's got sod houses and, and we period, want to see that. Yeah, period, period time stuff that's there. And then uh, the Minutemen Missile Silo. And at the prairie place, there are white prairie dogs. And so we want to see those. And then... Um, <laughs> Unlike this little black dog climbing up here now. <laughs> He's been locked up all morning. But anyway, uh, we want to see that. And then... Um, Wall Drug is a huge tourist attraction. But you need to see it at least if you're here. But it is a tourist attraction and so go see it. And do want to mention that when we were coming out to this dispersed camping area, we'd never been out here before. Uh, I had read lots of reviews, seen lots of videos about it, etc. But the afternoon that we were getting in, it looked like it could really start pouring down rain any second. That it could be a real storm. And so we spent the first night in the Wall Drug uh, parking lot. And we do want to mention they have actually a paved lot and then two gravel lots. We saw people staying in each of those. But <laughs> there is a third lot, another lot. And there are signs that say by city ordinance you cannot camp there and there were about five people there when we turned in when we got up rather early there were no people there yeah there were no rvs there but there were still a number of rvs in the lot we stayed in and across the street so um but we're going to be staying here and those are the things we're going to be seeing from around here from here, we are planning to go to Center Lake Campground in Custer State Park. That was a place, I've only been here once before, and that was a place where I thought I would love to camp here. Uh, I don't think I really saw much of the Badlands on our last trip. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't have time. But uh, Center Lake, I really wanted to camp there. Custer State Park is massive, and we're going to be doing a video just about camping there. But from there, using that as a hub, we're going to do the Needles Highway, which is an amazing scenic drive, the uh, wildlife viewing at Custer State Park, 
um, going to Mount Rushmore. That's the biggie for the state. <laughs> We are planning to be, go there several times, yes. several times a day to be able to see different lighting. It's just, it's impressive. It's very impressive. Things that we have done before that you could use Custer as a home base for. We went to Wind Cave. And, and it was a cave. It's, it's great. It's but interesting. We're not going to do it again this time and uh, this is september of 2020 and with covid we're not going into caves with people yeah because you ride down most of the uh descent is in an elevator with a bunch of strangers and we're not doing that and mammoth dig down at hot springs if you have not seen that it is impressive very impressive uh There were there was lots to see there. Lots and lots to see there. It was it was fascinating. It was very fascinating. We enjoyed it tremendously. Uh, but once again, we've been there. We've seen that, and um, not going to make the trip down to Hot Springs to see yeah. that. Crazy Horse, and they've come a long way, I think, on Crazy Horse since even we were here ten years ago. And we will be doing a drive-by. I don't know that we'll actually be going up into the park, but we will be going past there. Yes. Uh, and so that is going to be another area where we're going to stay for a number of nights. We're going to... At, at Center Lake. At Center Lake. And another thing, just because it's something that we enjoy, we're going to get a three-day fishing license. We're going to be at Center Lake. We're no good at fishing. But we don't we, care. We enjoy it tremendously. And so um, that's one of the things that we are going yes. to do. And then our next stop will be somewhere around Deadwood, Leeds, Spearfish, somewhere a yes. little bit further north. And Deadwood is a fascinating town. Historic. It was really a little mining town, a lot of history there. Uh, yeah, Wild Bill Hillcock was was killed there, Calamity Jane. We're, there's a Mount Moriah Cemetery where they are buried. Uh, there's just a lot of history in that area. And um, we will be going up and spending several days in <laughs> that area. And um, we then will be going around to Devil's Tower in, in Wyoming. Wyoming. And, and we'll be staying uh, dispersed camping again, or, probably. Or a national forest. We're not 100% yeah. sure at this point. That's the only thing for this entire trip that we're not getting to do exactly what we had hoped to do, and that's because the campground at Devil's Tower. Well, that and Teddy Roosevelt National Park. The campground's closed there as well. But the campground at Devil's Tower National Park is closed, and so we're not getting to camp actually right there. Uh, so we'll find somewhere. Uh, we know that there's a national forest, um, and I can't think of the name of that town. Sundance, I think it is. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, there is uh, there is a, a campground there if we don't find a dispersed camping uh, in that area. But we... We plan on spending at least three weeks in South Dakota yes. uh, area, right up in here, going around seeing and enjoying these things. And, and again, I want to stress, this doesn't have an exact time limit on any of these things. We're both retired. We've taken care of our bills so that we're not messing up our credit while we're gone. And... If we want to be gone six weeks, we'll be gone six. Or if we're sick of each other by three, we're on our way home. And we, um, yeah, we don't do this full time. But a, an example was as we were coming up here, in three days we had gone over a thousand miles. And along with that, we'd had two long visits with a yes. aunt of ours that was 96 years old. We went one evening and then the next morning we went out to visit her. And we were we, just beat. We were exhausted, truly. We were absolutely exhausted, and we got to a national forest in Nebraska, and they had some campsites that were first come, first served. So instead of staying there one night, we stayed three. <laughs> and it was great. And we felt good when we got here. Exactly. We felt rested when we arrived. 
And that's what we're trying to avoid is when we've made these trips in the past, we've been here three nights. And been exhausted, every one of them. And yeah, we, um, it, it was just a, a trip on the run and going and seeing and doing every minute. And we love, we're enjoying yes. last night just sitting out and watching uh, the... The colors change in the Badlands and then the stars. And, yeah, countless... But having time and leisure just to sit out and see that was pretty amazing, and we're enjoying it. So, anyway, as we uh, move throughout these various things that we're going to be seeing, we will be bringing you along with us, and we hope that you uh, will join us as uh, we go and see these things. And one other thing is what we're probably going to be doing is making a series of maybe a little bit shorter videos simply because some people may say Badlands why would I want to go there yes I don't care anything about that or I saw that and I was I don't want to go back and so this is going to help you be able to choose what parts you yes. are more interested in what is it you want to see and um, so while we're going to be gone about a month our videos may last for several because yes. we're breaking them down into a little bit smaller. Smaller chunks. If we did this all in one chunk, you'd watch maybe the first 10 minutes. <laughs> Get sick of us, turn it off, and not, not know that we uh, made it all the way over to Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so we are looking forward to it. This is really, other than Wall Drug Parking Lot, this is our first stop yes. on this trip. And um, like I said, this is the dream. This is... Uh, this is where I said I really want an RV, and that was an awful long time ago when I was up here with our mom. And I'll drag our poor little mother out looking at RVs with me. I will mention, because we did this in an earlier video at uh, the Padre Island National Seashore, this Sharon's birthday trip. Hi, ah, it she, is. She yeah. had a birthday. Well, we've been gone on this trip, and we were actually got to visit our aunt on that day, and it was really, really special, and we enjoyed that. But anyway, so we better get out and start exploring if I we're going we <laughs> we're gonna to get these places visited. Anyway, hope you come along and enjoy the journey with us. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers.